Well, it's early spring and you really should be looking at your fruit trees. And I'm with Ray. And Ray, what company do you work with? I'm Ray with uh, Collier Arbor Care Division of Bartlett Tree Experts. Uh, and so, you know, we all want to have the best fruit that we can in our orchards. And so, you know, it's inevitable that we're going to have some kind of a disease problem. It is the valley here. So what kind of, we're in front of an apple tree. So what kind of diseases would we be preventative spraying for this time of year? Okay, with the Willamette Valley, we get a lot of rain typically in the springtime, so um, the fungal diseases with all that rain just really start to multiply. So the main uh, diseases we're looking at is scab, rust, and, and mildew, but scab's probably like the worst. That's what makes your tree all black and the fruit all de deformed, so that's what we want to start treating on. And what would you be spraying for that? Um, okay, this time of year, actually right now is the perfect time to start as the trees are already starting to bud and grow oh, out. We're here, you know, late February. So this week we start our first spray and so we do a copper and oil spray. The copper will uh, help control diseases and the oil helps smother, you know, the eggs of like aphids and scale and other problems on trees. Uh, and so you're done once you've finished in February, that's the only spray that you do for that or no, it's ongoing? No, we have to keep going through the years. Usually like once a month we come out and spray and, and as the new growth comes out, those new leaves are not protected. So we have to keep spraying each month through uh, May to about June there when our rains generally quit and then we can, then it'll be done with the disease sprays. And that's not just for apples, it's for other fruit trees? What other ones would we um, you got cherries and plums, they, they typically get uh, uh, brown blossom blight, that'll like infect the new branches and actually kill the twigs and even into the branches there. Mm. Um, we got apricots and uh, peaches sometimes, but it's a tough thing to grow in this area. You know, they get that peach leaf curl yeah, and we be. get those wet springs sometimes, even with spraying, you can't even control that sometimes. Mm. But it is really good to start now. I mean, it's really good to get ahead of the curve there so you're getting some preventative sprays on. Exactly, you gotta start now. If you wait to after you see the disease, it's too late. You gotta stay one step ahead of it each time. Uh, well, let's go over this other tree and we'll talk about these little traps that you have on. Now, Ray, I noticed that you have some kind of little tents here. So what are these for? Okay, with apple and pear trees, we get uh, two types of uh, uh, moths that cause worms and apples. So we get coddling moth and apple maggot. And this is actually a trap for coddling moth and inside, there, we have uh, some sticky paper there and there's a little lure in there, a little pheromone and that uh, traps the coddling moth as they come in. That way we know we need to sp you know, spray or how the cutters are spraying, how effective it is keeping those out of there. Because once those are there, they're laying eggs up in the tree and that's what's going to affect the apples. Mm. So it's not just that they're catching them and then you're done. You have to, it's almost like an indicator that you have to spray them. Right. This is just more, more for monitoring. It doesn't actually control them. Just more we can see what's happening. Then we have to do the sprays and other things to help keep those uh, from infecting the apples. And uh, one item is by here is a kind of a little secret weapon. These are yeah, look at pheromone ties. And uh, what these do is uh, the female coddling moth, they go on the top of the trees and they put a little bit of pheromone out and that's how the males find them. And uh, when we put these out, they put such a big cloud of pheromone out, they, the males are lost, they can't find the females. And it sounds kind of weird, but it actually works really well. Ah, so then they don't have eggs, they don't make more um, bugs, and so you're really exactly. kind of cutting down on your problem. Exactly. Wow, it's that's really good. Is huge. Yeah, yeah, so it's less spraying then. <laughs> exactly. And then what about this yellow sticky tape? Okay, this is for the apple maggot. So we got, uh, they are attracted to yellow colors, and this is ammonia lure here, so this Apple maggots come in for the smell of this uh, lure here and then they'll get all stuck on this sticky paper there. So we do this in combination with sprays, once a month spray and this, and this kind of what it does, it helps control them between our visits because a month's a long time to go sure. between. But that way these trap a lot of them before they get on the tree and then we spray and that controls the eggs and stuff before they can infect the apples. Oh wow, so really there's a lot of tools out there to help us with our orchards. Exactly, you need to kind of do each one of them, otherwise it's, you know, they'll get through and you ruin your apples. Right, right. Well, you know, there is a lot of information and Collier Bartlett is a great company to come out. If you really don't want to do it yourself, they're a great company to come to and really come out and spray every month so you have great fruit. So if you have any other questions, go to gardentime.tv. We'll click over their website and you can give them a call today. Thanks so much for all the information. All right, thank you. <laughs>